Cancer, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're going to be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so, ooh, so it feels like something just didn't quite align. Maybe with a work endeavor, starting a business. Um, it could have even been wanting to start a family. But the realization that, you know, you want more, you want different. With that Empress in reverse, right? Change is, is, is lovely and, and asked for at this time. Justice card, just always reminding us that whatever we put our focus into is what we're going to get. So if you are in a position where you are in a job or you're starting a business and all your focus is directed to um, how it's not getting off the ground, you want more clients, how do you make more clients, how do you make more money, just understand that that energy is being projected into your creation it's only going to keep you stagnant. And then what happens is we become stagnant in other areas of life. We become stagnant in keeping our houses clean and organized, stagnant in taking care of our health, stagnant in feeling creative. So you always want to make sure that the energy that you're projecting into your creations, your relationships, everything is always coming from a place of progression, having the energy moving forward because your consciousness moves energy. Wherever your consciousness goes, energy flows into. So if your consciousness is like, I don't have enough, then you're just going to put energy into not enough and your life is going to look like you don't, have enough. Does that make sense? We don't want to do that. You don't have to suffer. There's no need, Cancer. There's no need. You have everything at your disposal. Everything at your fingertips is here for you. So it's just about using your power and understanding your X-Men power, right? Being an empath, you're like an X-Men. So when we don't know how to use our power, it's like, it's like the X-Men that has like the laser eyes and like you need to wear glasses. We just need to pop our glasses back on. And basically what that means is having deliberate focuses. And, and, and to be honest with you, it's really about calibrating your energy first thing in the morning to the frequency of our truth, which is source, which is love, which is, which is all things are possible because that is truth. What I like to do and personally what I would recommend um, is that if you wake up in the morning and you listen to a podcast that leaves you feeling like love in your, in your heart, right? So a podcast you really connect with. I personally connect with Michael Sandler, Inspire Nation, free on YouTube. Love his energy, love his guests. I listen about 15 minutes to one that resonates with me, sometimes longer, but in the morning time, we, it feels so good, right? That's why we're bringing this up. We connect with crystals, which is connect with energies that resonate with you. Sometimes it just feels so good to be floating in the other side. It's hard to participate on planet Earth. So that's one thing we got to look out for. However, I, what I notice is if I listen for about 15 minutes and then I do my own 15 minute meditation, it's about 30 minutes of just straight connection. And that's pretty good, right? Bing, bang, boom. So that's what I like to do. I start my day there. That way I calibrate to not only source energy, but also my own energy. It's the reminder, right? Being an empath, uh, sometimes we feel alone here. When you connect to other empath energy, you're like, oh, my, my, there's, there's people like me. Okay, we're good. And then, you know, you can connect to your own heart because your heart opens and then you can live life accordingly, right? So at the end of the day, just make sure right now, you're understanding that your life is taking a, 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 a switch, a change. You may even be going through some um, type of uh, court or legal uh, changes going on here with the two justices card going up, right? So might be going through some significant, maybe going through a divorce or maybe going through um, just, you know, something, maybe something was in a contract and it wasn't being honored. Um, but either way, this is all intentional. All of it, always, all the time. There are no coincidences here. So anything that you're going through that feels a little adverse, we encourage you to open up this to this journey. We encourage you to just say yes, right? This death card in reverse represents um, a resistance of what's showing up for you. But whatever is showing up literally, physically in your life is... Um, a need for uh, you don't want to be like no why is this happening i don't get it because then you're closing your heart off to the journey and you're kind of projecting again uh negative into it right but then we're not gonna we're not gonna get what we came here to receive we're not gonna understand why we're being pointed in this direction and we want to understand things right we really want to understand things so in order for this to um all come together universe is asking for you to maybe just take a little bit of a, some time for yourself out in nature, uh, you know, nature cleanses our energy. So we just have 
answers just come. Like if you just go for a walk, maybe just sit on a log somewhere, stand by a tree, touch the tree. Trees have a lot of wisdom as energy. You know, just be there for a sec. Be present, breathe, focus on your breathing, focus on what you see in the nature, and just be there for a few minutes. You'll notice that maybe not then, maybe not when you get in your car, but maybe when you get home, maybe later that day, maybe the next morning, boom, huge downloads, huge clarity. And as a matter of fact, that's is coming in for you because I just got crazy goosebumps. So that's kind of how it works, right? So you just give yourself space to kind of just breathe and just be, that's when clarity comes. Nature is the best way to do it because we are distracted by the beauty. So we can see here, just take some space so that you can recalibrate to your truth. We feel like right now there's a destiny waiting for you, right? There's a per path waiting for you. I'm hesitant to say purpose. We have so many purposes in our lifetimes. Like really, like what's the real purpose, right? Uh, to live in a state of love, probably, right? That feel excitement, enjoy our lives. It's probably our real purpose, you know, enjoy relationships, enjoy, enjoy all the finer things that, that earth can, can bring us, you know, without getting, of course, too matrixed up, right? So at the end of the day, it's really just about connecting back to that, uh, that place with you is why, what is your intention for your life? And when you real calibrate to your intention of what you want, then what will happen is maybe the puzzle pieces you're being shown are going to all come together. But the name of the game is this beautiful soul and, and never forget, right? It's always about doing things the way you want to do them. And if you're having a hard time doing things the way you want to do, it's because you have energy attachments from the past, negative energies. I really recommend trying, first of all, the morning routine of listening to a podcast 15 minutes and then doing a quick 15 minute meditation. It will really just calibrate you to your spirit, your true self, and you'll get downloads. It'll feel good, right? Because the name of the game is to always know you create your art. You create it the way you want. But if you are not evolving, if you say actually are an artist, let's say, right? But you're not really digging the art that's coming out. You're like, this is an expression of me, but I just feel like it could be so much more. I have more to give. And I, how do I, how do I get it out of me? How do I express myself more? Do I sing my own song more? It means that you have to evolve in other areas of your life. For me to express myself the way I want to express myself here with all of you, it means I have to continuously evolve in the other aspects of my life. Keep my house clean, organize, make sure the floors are clean, have foods. I don't always want to do that because I want to just work on spirit world all day. But if I don't actually participate and keep evolving in other areas of my life, then my progression will, will, will hinder, right? And then I'll be seeking. Why doesn't it feel good? We don't have to seek. We don't have to search. We just have to remember. We have to constantly progress. We have to constantly put love into the other aspects of our lives, have to constantly stay fulfilled and satisfied by taking care of the daily tasks. This stuff matters. And the best part is, is when you take like a week and you're like, okay, this week I'm going to, or this day I'm going to, you know, clean this bathroom. And then this day I'm going to clean these floors. And then this day I'm going to make this food or create this recipe. And every day you have intention behind what you do. You're going to create something, clean something, right? Creation and cleaning. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, right. Maybe this day I'm going to go out in nature and, you know, schedule with allowance, kind of go with the flow, but, but kind of have an intention for it. What's going to happen is you'll notice every time you step into creating your masterpieces, your art, whether you're a tattoo artist or a, or a sculptor, or even if you are just a, a healer and you um, help work with clients, the information that comes in, the guidance that comes in, right? It's just about evolution. It's going to be, that's how we always evolve, right? So let's just say, for instance, it was family. And let's say, for instance, it was money with the 10 of pentacles. You're looking for strength for uh, upgrades in your family, in your relationships, uh, in your financial department, right? Don't get caught up in what is. Really prioritize just staying evolving, staying um, um moving forward, right? If you don't know and you're feeling lost and you're feeling confused and you're just like, I want more, I want different, I want upgrades, what needs to be cleaned? Go clean it, go organize it. I'm not even kidding you. It works every time because that feeling of satisfaction is what we, is what we need to focus on. So go clean something, go organize something, uh, you know, perhaps maybe get your, get your health in check. I'm not saying it's not, but nourish your temple and the universe message, which we're going to touch on just a sec is also related to, um, how you feel, which we're going to go over. But remember, right? Do not get caught up in the matrix programs. Your avatar is your own. And if you try to go and do something that someone else got results in, and it's not working for you, don't be fooled by that scam. It's not for you then, right? It's not that it's a scam. It's just that that person had success and they're sharing as, as we all want to do, right? But it might not work for you. And that's okay. It's okay. We all have different opinions and have different experiences. So I, uh, I would practice 
a lot of different ways of eating for a long time because I was trying to force it because I thought that it's how it's supposed to be um, based on what I was doing in my life. It was not. So we just want you to really, really understand this, right? That your avatar has certain needs. And when you're not feeling grounded, when you're not feeling good in your body, it's because your needs are not being met. Now, what's interesting is we pulled this card and this says feeling old, tired, and unsexy. Tune into your hormone health. So it might be time for some fasting or fat sources to replenish. Meat, flax, eggs, fish, coconut oil. I tried meat the other day. It wasn't my thing. I, I couldn't do it anymore. But I love fish, love salmon, coconut oil. But really, grass-fed butter is really my whole bread and butter. Fish and butter, right? Broccoli and butter. That's my favorite, broccoli and butter. And once I started going back to the fats, flax, right? Like, and we can have fun with this because you can make cookies out of flax seeds and butter and coconut oil. Like it's incredible. You can eat cookies all day. You can eat cookies all day. I eat cookies and it's amazing. So just saying, right? Sometimes we get all caught up in what we think it's supposed to be because we keep, we keep regurgitating the same information. It's gotta be this, this, this is the way, but maybe it's not, you know what I mean? So if you are feeling just a little bit worn out and tired, might be time to just you know, see if you want to clean things up. If you want to check out fasting, check out Dr. Mindy Peltz. Um, if you, she's got a really good a plethora of information. That's where we would start. She's a great source, um, especially for um, all kinds of, for women, men as well. Um, but she's a great source. So go check out her. Probably just need to do a little fasting, a little clean up the system a little bit. Uh, healthy fats leave our blood sugar nice and stabilized so we don't get cravings. We don't get crashes. We don't, you know, the fact that we don't want to eat is incredible for a woman because specifically men as well, but for a woman we're we just like to feel stable, right? We just want to do our stuff and, and feel good in our bodies, right? And sometimes I notice the healthy fats that can help us kind of stay nice and stable so we don't go through all these ungrounded spikes. So that may help for you. This is what's coming through. We love you so much. Hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there are messages in here for you. If there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.